What's up? We're Brandon and Alyssa with Here's Good. We're back in Tokyo with another food video. If you think Tokyo is expensive, we're going to show you just how far $10 gets you. We have made our way to the Ginza neighborhood. This is American Cafe. It's almost 2 o'clock closing time, but they have space for two people, so we're going to go get a giant egg mail. This place has a cool, eclectic vibe. There's all kinds of different artwork and stuff on the walls, and the ladies are so nice. They came and greeted us, flipped our menus over. There was an English option available, too. We are getting an egg sandwich and an iced coffee. Everyone has to get a drink and a sandwich who's sitting inside. So we have to get two giant sandwiches and two drinks. You okay. Oh my god. She said we can take away, which thank god. <laughs> this is so much bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Oh my god, look at this thing. It's insane. It gave us a fork. I've never had a fork with my egg mayo before. <laughs> it looks like a beautiful work of art. I wonder how many eggs are in this thing. Yeah. It's freaking enormous. And the bread, it's like almost two inches thick. The thickest, softest bread I've ever had. <laughs> There's more bread There's underneath. There's more bread underneath. I think if I need it, maybe it's for these huge scoops of <laughs> egg that they've added. Just a mountain of egg. That's crazy. Okay, I've eaten a lot off the top, so I'm going to attempt to bite it. <laughs> There's no good way to do this. Mm, bread is warm, bread is fluffy. Normally they don't leave the crust on, but this place is wasting nothing, so this is amazing. I like the salad alone on the fork, but it's even better with the bread. Quality is super high. The bread is a superstar. It is warm and fluffy, and it's covered in delicious mayonnaise. The eggs are delicious just on their own. This place is incredible. Along with the huge egg mayo sandwiches, they also have potato salad sandwiches. I don't know why we don't do this back home, because potato salad on sandwiches is totally a thing. We're about 10 minutes from closing, and in Japan, closing time means that you are out the door paid. You don't get to stay past closing time. So she just brought us some to-go boxes. It came with a stapler, which is fun. The stapler is just too much. The sandwich maxes out the payload of the to-go box that you have to staple it shut. It's just incredible. We are obviously not going to let this go to waste, but Brandon is going to have a heavy backpack to carry with these giant sandwiches. That was way better than I expected. I thought it was going to be like a tourist dumb thing that's just an oversized sandwich that doesn't taste good but the bread was freaking amazing. The amount of egg that they give you is insane. It's 900 yen, which is expensive for Japan, but you got like four egg sandwiches in one. So the price for the quantity is right on par. Great, 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 great. It is a cold and rainy day here in Tokyo, and I saw this amazing looking curry soup restaurant. I know nothing about it, but it's affordable and it looks delicious from the sign. So we're gonna walk in and see what it's all about. It looks like there's a bit of a line, but anything with a line is probably worth waiting for. So that didn't take very long at all. I think I was maybe in line for five minutes and there's counter tables as well as tables, but I had just have a little cubby to myself and it's a nice little spot and it's so warm down here. It was freezing upstairs. So I'm excited to be in here. Let's check out the menu and see what they have. A lot of people ask us what we use to translate. We just use Google Translate on the app, Spanish. I was responding to some Spanish comments today, so we'll change that to Japanese. Arigatou gozaimasu. Oh, great. <laughs> she saw me struggling with my Google Translate. She brought over an English menu. This is way easier to read. Uh, one chicken leg and veggie curry. Fried. Fried. Since Alyssa is not here today, I'm taking one for the team and I ordered level 10 spicy. And these curry spots in Japan really do bring the heat, so I'm interested to see how, ex how spicy it is. I went with a fried chicken leg curry with vegetables and they recommended a side of rice with cheese on top, so I got that. Hopefully it will curtail some of that heat. There's an egg, some broccoli, it looks like a squash, a couple sticks of some vegetables in this huge chicken leg. Let's uh, just give this broth a go, see how spicy it is too. Oh, that is so good. The spice is really amazing. If you can handle some spice, the 10 is definitely a manageable version. Ooh, the spice just continues to build. The depth of flavor of the broth is insane. The chicken is fried perfectly. It's flavorful, it's juicy, it's pulled heart tender, amazing. Let's try some of that cheesy rice too. Oh, it's like a melted, almost like a mozzarella or like a provolone style cheese. It does really good with the rice. Man, the cheesy rice chicken soaked in that sauce, bite of potato, 
spicy and is just fantastic. It is just like a warm hug for your soul. Man, what an awesome meal that was. A great experience. It came to 1,700 yen, which is like 11 or 12 US dollars. Such a steal for lunch. So we haven't had katsu since the very first day we arrived in Japan. So now we're trying out a new place just outside of the Shibuya crossing is Tari Katsu. They're literally making everything to order. Whipping eggs for the batter, dipping them, frying every single item individually. They are meticulous. It's so quiet and calm. It's an amazing atmosphere. We decided on two different set plates, both with pork, shrimp, and veggies. It's super efficient. You put your order in before you even sit down your food's ready just about right after you sit down. This is a dip style of katsu, which we haven't tried before. So each piece is hand battered, fried, then dipped into a tonkatsu sauce, already wet and seasoned. I'm interested if this will affect its crispiness. This bowl is huge and it comes with, as always, miso soup, some pickled veg, and a few more dipping sauces. The veggies include pumpkin, mini corn, broccoli, eggplant, and the sauce on there is so good. It's a little sweet and a little sour. There's also tartar sauce for the shrimp and so much rice. It's coated in all the sauce. It's just delicious. It's so, so good. The pork is much thinner than the last pork that we had at Tonkatsu Wako, which was meatier and fattier, but this is like hammered thin and so juicy and tender. The crispiness is lost a little with the sauce on top as opposed to like dipping on the side, but the flavor makes up for it. You can tell that each piece is seasoned as they make it, like the batter, the filet, the sauce, all seasoned, and then it goes together just so perfectly for such an amazing bite. I love this so much. Pork filet is my favorite. It's unbelievable. Pork, pumpkin, broccoli. What's it? The pork filet, pumpkin, shrimp. Holy cow, that might be one of the best meals I've had the entire time. That came to just a few cents above $20. Definitely a cheap eat, definitely makes the list. It's really cool, like it's super quiet in there so we couldn't really talk that much, but like it is such a chill vibe. Like I've never been more relaxed quickly scarfing down a yeah. bowl of fried bits, but it wasn't as crispy as I would have liked because they did sauce it. But the flavor of all those vegetables, the pork filet, man, absolutely incredible. If you're going to the Shibuya Crossing, you might as well make your way over to Tarikatsu to grab an amazing bowl of fried deliciousness. We have come here a few times and missed the lunch. We have made it today for Dylan's lunch menu. It's one of the best lunch sets in all of Shibuya, and I am so excited. I'm getting dumplings. Look at all this stuff that you get for 900 yen. And then I decided to go with this guy, which is a soup, fried rice, and salad. And we added a couple of bath. bath. This looks amazing. It's really nice. I don't know. Great. I got shrimp and pork in my fried rice. There's a beautiful piece of chashu, some mung beans, as well as some big leafy greens in there. It's just a little small portion, but this all together is pretty decent. Oh, the chashu is falling apart just in the chopsticks alone. You're not even going to need to chew that. The broth is super salty, savory, and the noodles have a nice chew to them. Honestly, the chashu in both the fried fried rice and this noodle dish is the go-to, but I love that you get this huge bowl of fried rice too. Nice. So these are the pan fried dumplings and I am so excited. There's like this crispy exterior on them. I got egg drop soup, a salad, and some pickles. And that little empty bowl is to make my own sauce. We have walked by this place like three times and it has been closed. I am so freaking excited to finally get to eat it. I've actually never had the soup dumplings with this crust before, so I am so excited. I don't even know how I'm supposed to do it. To like break it? Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, neat. How fun. It's pork and chime. The black vinegar and the chili is so good. Oh my goodness. They're boiled and the only crunchiness is that crunchy exterior. So they're like soft and then a little bit of French chum. These are amazing. All of this is like 550. This is insane. <laughs> cool. I love this. The chili is so good. We are in the Tobu building on the 13th floor in the Ikebukuro station and we are at Kyoto Saru Suisin. We waited about 35 minutes. This place is pumping and they serve all kinds of matcha drinks. And I got a matcha affogato and Brandon got a matcha ice cream with matcha tea. There's so many choices. Alyssa saw a cheesecake come out and now she's having buyer's remorse. You know, you wanna spend $6 or you wanna spend $12? I'm on a $6 train always. This is like just perfectly Japanese. I love this. You can smell the vanilla bean on the vanilla ice cream. It comes with two pastries and this cool bowl of hot matcha. Whoa. I'm going in while it's hot. Oh, the ice cream is so hard. 
Mm. Oh my god. It's so good. The ice cream has such a strong vanilla flavor to it, and the matcha is not sweet at all. So it's so good with that vanilla ice cream. This is amazing. I do not regret my choice at all. <laughs> this is great. This is like the largest matcha tea I've ever been given. I love just how frothy the matcha tea is on its own. That's insane. The red bean and matcha is like a match made in heaven. I've never had these super gooey types of mochis before. It's the most delicious bite on the plate for sure. What a perfect dessert. This is awesome. It is a cold day today here in Tokyo and we are craving some eggs. So we are headed to go get omo rice, which we have not yet had before. But the best way to describe it to our American viewers is like a runny egg over rice with gravy. And they have a bunch of different kinds. We are headed inside this mall to the very top Top floor to try and find a restaurant called Egg Restaurant. Sounds like they should have some eggs. Let's eat. This place is a really cool design. I feel like I'm in the middle of a French bistro, but we are on the seventh floor of this amazing mall. We've rode many escalators to get here. This place specializes in a spiral type of alma rice. The dude back there is just banging out egg after egg after egg and with expert level precision. I got the omo rice with karate chicken from Hokkaido with a brown gravy on it. And this is one of the few places in Japan where you'll get paid for. This looks so pretty. I cannot even tell you the like, layers of the egg is insane. It looks gorgeous. I can't wait to dive in. I decided to go with one with corn and this fresh bacon on top. There's also a little bit of like a white sauce and as well as a brown gravy. And that egg looks delicious. Whoa. Look at the pile of rice under there. Wow. Cool. It's still like a little bit runny. It looks so good. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh. I'm doing this completely wrong. <laughs> People on the internet are gonna get mad at me. Mmm. Oh, it's like Japanese curry. I barely can taste the egg. <laughs> They're so different. This one reminds me of more American traditional breakfast with like the bacon pieces. There's a little like ketchup or tomato underneath the egg on the rice. And the egg with the cheese is more like an American scramble, whereas the other one is like a Japanese curry. I forget love the curry one, but it does definitely overpower the egg. I prefer the corn and bacon and cheese one. It's so cheesy and fatty and savory. Man, this is everything it was built to be. The layering on it is insane. It feels like a blanket for your tongue made of egg. It's absolutely incredible. Man, what a terrific treat. It's amazing. Like if you follow any escalator up eventually, you'll run into food and we just struck gold at this place. So this next little hidden gem is called Tadan Ikebukuru. They are famous for these overstuffed marinated Korean style grilled beef bowls. So let's get inside and out of the cold. Right when you walk in, there is a vending machine to order from. It's in Japanese but it has pictures so that's super helpful this place is like an alleyway it's super thin there's just a bunch of salary men eating their lunch we gave her our tickets and then she asked us what size we want our bowls i said small because i think it's just going to be more rice and i don't want to fill up with rice because we have so much more to eat today as always everything we need is right at your table we have water hot sauce seasoning pepper sweet and sour chopsticks napkins toothpicks and whatever other freebies that the restaurant has this place has a big pot of kimchi what i ordered is called the big bowl it comes with this clear soup. It's kind of like the broth you'd get at a tapenyaki restaurant back home and a little roasted sesame salad. The bowl comes with four different types of meat, pork, chicken, and beef, topped with a nice egg and a huge amount of rice. I feel like I can eat a lot, but there's no way I can finish this big bowl. Mmm. Whoa, the egg is actually cold. I wasn't expecting that. The marinade is a classic Korean galbi marinade, a little sweet. You really taste the smoke. We can see him cooking over the open flame in the back. The combination of that smoky meat dipped in the egg with some of that kimchi is just perfect. So I got this steak bowl and this steak is so, so good. This might be my favorite steak that I've had in Japan. It's cooked to a perfect medium rare and it has some sweet, spicy teriyaki gojujang sauce on it and it melts into the rice, flavoring the rice too. There's an option to add more protein for like $3 and next time I'm definitely gonna do that because I definitely want more steak. The steak is so awesome. I gave it my all. This is as far as I can make it on the big bowl. Score, big bowl one, Brandon, zero. 
I loved that. The steak was so good. Brandon's bowl was too big, so now he's just in a meat daze right now. Yeah, I do think that the portion wasn't any larger for the meat. It did come with four different proteins, which I love the variety. The marinade on the meats was amazing. The flame grill flavor was awesome. And all the freebies that they had was actually really good. And I love ordering from a vending machine because you can take your time to order and then everything you need is right in front of you. So you don't have to ask for any help. You don't have to know any Japanese. Just use your translator, take your time, pantry your tickets, and then food shows up. Yeah, what a great little hidden gem in Ikebukuro. Alyssa has an egg mayo and she is editing video, so that means I am on my own. And I can only think of one thing to eat beef right now since I am left to my own devices. So the spot that I'm going to today is called Mitsuya and it's actually one of the more popular chain restaurants in all of Japan. These little chain restaurants have been invaluable to us. The food has been excellent, affordable, and honestly it's so convenient just to drop in, hit the button on the machine, and get an order of food. So I'm going for something called sukiyaki beef which is like a marinated sweet beef bowl. Let's check it out. I paid $5.50. I think that mine comes with a soup and a salad. I got the regular size. So now I'm just waiting for my number to be called. I did it right. Everything looks amazing. The salad is fresh. It's like a cabbage salad mix and they have all the dressings and condiments on the side. Egg looks perfectly soft boiled. It's piled high with meat and there's a ton of green onion on here which I love and I also got a soup all for four bucks. I'm just gonna poke this beautiful egg so the yolk runs out so I can dip some of this tender beef in it. It's a soft boiled egg and the eggs in Japan are on another level. They're so delicious. This style of beef is actually called Jiudan and it's such a popular lunch here in Tokyo because it's fast, it's cheap, and it is incredible. That beef was really tender. The green onions were the star. I do wish I got the extra protein portion. I was good with the amount of rice and everything, but I wish that I got a little bit more meat. All in all, awesome for four bucks. Like, you cannot beat that. You can't find something like that in the States. Next video, we're up in the budget to $100. Make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss it.